Merry Christmas coin collectors. It's Dan the Collecting Man here with a Christmas message and a Christmas themed video of all things coins. So I thought I'd go through what are some of the unique Christmas traditions when it comes to coin collecting, what are the things that we see, and a bit of a snapshot of what are my favorite things that happened in 2023 and what are some of the key exciting things I'm really looking forward to in 2024. So I thought I'd start off with is the special Christmas themed released coins that have just come out. Uh, so we've got this very festive 50 cent coin that's come out of the Royal Stray Mint. So this is, uh, I think, the second year that they've come out with a special release Christmas theme coin. This has the New South Wales Christmas bush uh, with its white flowers, and it's also got uh, the red f uh, fruit in the middle with the five pointed star. So really unique uh, design something that you've been made to be and hang on the on your christmas tree uh with the 2025 memorial Oddverse on there as well so really cool designs and they have been quite popular as well so you've also got this is the 2022 uh, version with the christmas beetles so i like it how they're trying to keep it australia themed and a decoration that you can hang up uh, on your Christmas tree as well. So I don't know how many people are wanting to put uh, coins on their tree, but I think it might be something that might catch on, something as a, <clears throat> you know, a bit of good luck and a good fortune for the year as well. So I think it's a good design. I really like them. They're nice and colorful as well. And I think 50 cent coins are always something that are quite collectible as well. So I think it's a, a good thing that the Royal Stray Mint have come up with. One of the more long-term traditions that have been around is putting a sixpence in a pudding. So this is from the UK Mint, the Royal Mint, and they've got the the sixpence here that you put into your pudding. Uh, this has the King's Royal Cipher on the coin as well. So um, it's a bit of a sterling silver uh, with the King's effigy as well. Uh, that's a long-standing Christmas tradition. I remember as a young kid, my mum and dad used to get uh, one or two dollar coins, wrap it in glad wrap, and put it into the pudding as well. Uh, to be honest, I haven't done it since I was a, a young kid, so it's something that I'm not sure if many Australians still do that. And I'd love to hear in the messages below uh, when when was the last time you put uh, some coins in the pudding, if you've done it as an adult or you got it as a kid as well. Uh, another tradition is uh, the chocolates, getting these chocolates for Christmas. So uh, these are the $1 Mobaroos, so with a Christmas uh, coin on it. So I was having a look into this and just to understand a bit of the, the history around this. So this comes back to the 4th century uh, from St. Nicholas. So it's uh, been going for a long time where he gave some small bags of coins, so little bags, that's why you buy them in little bags, uh, to three women to help uh, in bags of gold to help pay off their dues. So I think uh, it's pretty significant that this is always meant to be gold uh, in little bags to pay off their dues, and it's meant to be for good luck and good fortune for the next year. So I think it's pretty unique. Uh, I've always seen the, the chocolate uh, coins, but I never really thought about the meaning behind it. So, you know, doing this video, I was, I was able to find out uh, the meaning. You can see, uh, the, I don't know if you can see it in the camera there. So they've imprinted at least the actual $1 mob of roos onto the chocolate. Um, I'm sure the, the kids are gonna get into this and have a bit of fun with that as well. So what are some of my favorite things uh, from a coin uh, collecting point of view that have happened. Well, I think first of all, I started this YouTube channel this year, so it's been six months uh, and going strong, and I've really uh, loved it more than I even thought I could uh, making YouTube videos. I've built a, a beautiful community of uh, people that comment on my videos, which I absolutely love when people write and ask questions and give me some feedback, uh, positive or negative. I, I love it both ways, uh, especially when you, you do have some room for improvement or coins that I think are great and people other might have different opinions for different reasons. And I love hearing other people's opinions and I've actually learned even myself uh, quite a lot from doing this YouTube channel. So definitely something I'm very proud of and definitely I'm very keen uh, for 2024 
I've got a lot of big plans uh, for this YouTube channel and to really help it grow as well because it's something that uh, the more I do it, the more I enjoy it, the more I research around all these different things and find out different nuances about stuff. It's something that I really love and I'm growing more of a passion for. Uh, so some of the things I've also loved is some of these special release coins that have come out. So I think the first one was this uh, mob of uh, 30 silver ounce coin. Uh, loved sending it off to be graded and getting uh, a mint state of 70. Uh, two of my favorite coins that came out this year. The first one was this uh, $2 uh, proof uh, colored Vietnam War coin. Uh, sent that off to be graded as well and got a 70 as well. So I had a lot of good luck with sending coins off to be graded as well. So I was very proud of the results I was able to achieve when it came to grading of coins. This was one of my favorite coins of the year for a long time until this uh, UK Royal Mint uh, coin came out as well. So this is the uh, Coronation Silver coin. Uh, for me, I really just love the design of this coin as well. I love all the different nuances with the different flowers from the different uh, parts of the UK, uh, having the King Cipher with the crown in there as well, uh, and being limited with the King's crown on that as well. So for those that don't know that, most of the effigies that will be around for 2024 will not have a crown on it. So the crown, the king has cho chosen not to have a crown on his effigy. So they're very rare and limited to have any coins. And this was one of two uh, that got graded at a 70. So very, very limited, very rare coin at that point of view as well. So I'm pretty proud to definitely have have this coin. And for me, I just love the design of it as well. So definitely very stoked. Uh, for that one. I think for 2024, the one I'm most stoked about is the Perth Mint's Year of the Dragon. I think I've already seen some of them, have already been released, and I've got quite a whole heap uh, sitting to the left of me now, ready to be unboxed in a video I'll be releasing soon. Uh, some of the designs they've come up with are absolutely beautiful. So we're seeing the Royal Mint out of the UK. This is the the Year of the Dragon one that they've had, so I've already done a, a video on this one. Uh, but the Perth Mints version of this uh, is just amazing. So this is the UK's version of it. Uh, you can hear birds out the outside, they're all excited about the coins as well. Uh, so you can see this is the king without the crown on there as well. Uh, but yeah, the Perth Mint still has a queen on it, which is quite surprising given it's just been released. But there, I like the gold plated one, the colored version ones. Uh, so I've got a bit of all of them. Uh, so I've spent a, a bit of cash lately buying all those Perth Mint coins and I'm really waiting for all of them to be delivered to make uh, a pretty exciting video. That's if they stop releasing more because it seems like every couple of weeks they're releasing a couple more different versions of them as well. So that's probably my biggest uh, excitement for next year. There's also going to be Olympics. I think there's going to be a lot of other significant coins as well. So definitely looking out and, and excited for that. So the video is coming up in the next week. Uh, I'll share all my thoughts and what are some of the going to be the main releases that I think we'll see next year as well. So look out for that video uh, dropping out in the next week as well. So I thought I'd also share what are some of the things that I love about Christmas as well while we're doing this Christmas video. I think for me in Australia, it's summer. So I always get the pool out in the backyard with the kids. They love that. We often put the TV in the backyard and watch the cricket, hopefully to see Australia thrash England. Uh, we always love watching and seeing that or India. So I'd love to hear in the comments below what if you do follow any of the cricket and what country uh, you do follow as well. But for us, Boxing Day, that's a tradition that we do in Australia. We love sitting back in the backyard, uh, having a beer, watching the cricket with a pool, having a barbecue, definitely getting some snags on the barbie, as we say. It's something that we definitely do every year, and the kids absolutely love it. They, they're always looking forward to it. Uh, and we're definitely looking forward just to relax and it's looking like it's going to be a pretty hot summer this year as well So definitely a lot of relaxing around I always love the food uh, that we have for Christmas as well uh, Definitely have a lot of that, a lot of good drinks as well And eggnog is something that I've really been getting into to over the last few years as well So it's something that I, I've liked it a bit warm uh, in the evenings It's just something with the smell of it as well is beautiful we always go uh, hunting for a real Christmas tree. That's something that we've started ever since we've had kids. 
uh, and we're going to be doing that in the next week as well. It's going to go and find uh, a, a nice Christmas tree and get the kids to choose one as well. So obviously I'll film this a few weeks before Christmas. Uh, so we'll go and hunt and find a uh, tree for the kids as well uh, and see which ones they like. And I just love that smell of the fresh tree uh, in the house as well. Just uh, really brings out Christmas as well. So for me, it's definitely a fun time. I like all the lights and seeing everyone's houses uh, decorated with all the Christmas lights as well. Uh, so it's just a, definitely a fun time of year. Probably the thing I don't like about it is uh, some of the music sometimes of the Miley Cyrus uh, Chris little Christmas song is something that does get on my nerves and a lot of other people's nerves as well, I'm sure, as well. So I'd love to hear what you do for Christmas. What's your favourite traditions and what are the things you enjoy most about it and what are you looking forward to uh, when it comes to coin collecting uh, for next year? And what would you like to see from my channel as well? Uh, is there any changes you'd like to see me make? Any videos you'd like to for me to make? Please put it in the messages below. I love it when I get that kind of feedback so that gives me more creative ideas to come up with for next year as well. So I'd like to wish you and your family a very, very Merry Christmas, a safe new year, and hopefully uh, next year is a year of good fortune for you and your family as well. Hopefully uh, you're all safe and well. Uh, please subscribe for my videos to keep up to date and see all the really exciting videos that I'm creating right now uh, that I'll be releasing in the near future as well. Thanks for watching and joining the coin collecting community. See you on my next video, Dan.